Okay, y'all, today we're going to read Genesis chapter 28. And uh, we'll get started. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of the Canaan. Arise and go to Padam Aram, to the house of of Bethuel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from there, thence of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee, and take thee fruitful, and multiply thee, that thou mayest be a multitude of people, and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac sent away Jacob, and he went to Padaram, unto Laban, the son of Bethel, and Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob, and Esau's mother. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padaram to take him a wife from thence, and that as blessed him, he gave a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of the Canaan. And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother, and was gone to Padaram. And Esau, seeing the daughters of Canaan, pleased not Isaac's father. Then Esau unto Ishmael, and took unto him the wives which he had, Malahath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son of the sister of Nebajoth, to be his wife. And Jacob went from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lightened upon certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun set and he took of the stones of the place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up of the earth and the top of it reached to the heavens, and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father, and thy God of Isaac, and the land whereon thou layest to thee will I give it, and thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, to the east, and to the north and the south. And thee in thy seed shall all of the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am thee, and will keep thee in all places, whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken of thee. And Jacob waked out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I know it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is the place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it for a pillar and poured, it, poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of the place Bethel. But the name of the city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, If God will be thee and will keep me, in his way that I go, will give me bread to eat 
and raiment to put on a remnant to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace then shall the Lord be my God and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house and for all that shall give me I will surely give thee tenneth unto thee well y'all I hope you enjoyed that that was Genesis chapter 28 and I know I haven't been doing the readings like I've been having computer issues so I'm gonna try to at least get two readings out a week hopefully I'll get more but look for two and they will be posted at 9 a.m. every morning hopefully <laughs> with that being said remember y'all the world's a better place because you're in it. Please never forget it. And remember, God is the one that can do everything. There is nothing he can't do. Bye, y'all.